Hi, hello guys. Today we're going to write some code to find the folder size, uh, uh, size or uh, the memory, uh, the folder contains the folder or the directory, whatever the name you keep. So this is my uh, test folder. Uh, so in the E drive, I have a folder called drive and DB. So here, mm, my folder uh, size is around uh, two hundred. Uh, 34 MB so how to uh, uh, from the code level how to check this property and how to um, uh, get the directory information and how to find the size of this directory so I going to show you some uh, 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 size uh, uh, of the folder in a different fashions uh, by uh, show, uh, so in the byte how much uh, size and the KB uh, kilobyte how much and MB megabyte how much it is so uh, we know that this folder is around 234 MB so how to get it from the code so from this physical path I going to read from my code and I will execute that code uh, it, it, it should uh, give me the output like this so let's uh, go and write the code for that <laughs> for that I, I going to write on static uh, uh, method so that will uh, return me uh, the uh, long data type so uh, let me count right so this uh, method will uh, calculate me the uh, uh, directory size so okay the type is uh, long so uh, maybe if you return the byte emb yes you need to use the long because the data maybe it will be more uh, if you uh, if you find the smaller directory size it won't be but uh, use the long uh, data type so uh, I will uh, give some meaningful name for this uh, method uh, directory size okay something like this uh, directory size so it will uh, accept me the uh, directory info uh, so which directory that we going to find and uh, one more option will give uh, whether uh, we need to include the subfolders or not so if you don't want to include the subfolder it will just uh, return me only the uh, data's uh, which uh, present see uh, these are all the sub subfolders uh, so assembly is uh, compiled index so databases so this only it will calculate uh, outside uh, means the only the file size so let's see uh, how the things are works because if we are trying to do such a things we need to take care of all the stuffs okay so uh, I'm accepting the parameter directory info and uh, on bool uh, parameter so uh, boolean parameter it will ask whether you want to include the subdirectory or not okay uh, uh, then uh, I going to uh, write or uh, take on variable so total size of that uh, folder okay so uh, equal to so uh, directory d in info dot uh, enumerate the files enumerate enumerate the files dot sum so just uh, do the enumeration so enumeration it will uh, do uh, split operations so uh, uh, once you enumerate it will be calculate all your uh, child so sum of all the files so let file inside a file file such that file dot file dot length okay so this will uh, return uh, uh, me the total size of the folder so let uh, I will return this total size okay fine uh, so this what it will do is whatever the files uh, inside this directory this will uh, uh, enumerate uh, all the files and it will uh, uh, sum that total size and it will provide me so uh, next uh, so uh, if I want to include the sub subdirectory I need to write one more condition if
okay if uh, include the sub uh, directory is true okay total size uh, plus equal to okay, let's uh, I'll uh, write in the separate line it it won't be confused much just I'm zooming a little bit okay so total size uh, just if it uh, won't include the directory total size plus uh, equal to uh, d info uh, dot this time you need to enumerate the directories of uh, the folder the master uh, folder directories dot sum okay sum the directory okay director equal to again uh, just call this uh, directory size method here you pass the directory okay and set subfolder uh, true why I am uh, giving you understand so uh, so what I am uh, doing in the next uh, step okay just add the total size okay so uh, what I am doing is if uh, you need to subdirectory just add it to the uh, total size uh, uh, so just uh, go and enumerate the directory as well so uh, first time it will uh, enumerate only the files so these are all the files first it is enumerating but it won't calculate the directory so next uh, level I am telling that please enumerate the directory and if you go, uh, uh, enumerate the directory and doing the sum operation I am telling that uh, just I am passing the directory and inside the directory I have a uh, uh, files so uh, that also I need to calculate so uh, th that will calculate by again uh, you are call, uh, calling this directory size so because again you are passing the info of the directory only so that directory again what it will do it will go and fetch the files and again it will include in the total size so you will get the total size of a complete folder under the uh, uh, under the f uh, folder if you have any folders inside the f uh, subfolders you have the files so everything it will be calculated and inside if any have a uh, subfolders that also it will be calculated so it's uh, the logic is very simple just uh, go through one more time what I did uh, it's very simple so now uh, it's time to execute the uh, directory size for the application okay so now I need to find the master directory path so for that I need to uh, find the info directory info equal to uh, dt info equal to new directory info so here you, you uh, just uh, pass the path uh, uh, path of uh, the folder that you want to find okay so here I go to my folder I just copy my physical uh, path then go to here and just paste that and uh, so it will uh, throw me the exception because uh, it won't accept the uh, absolute path like this okay uh, just use the address symbol to avoid such a things so now I will get my uh, uh, path uh, details so uh, then I need to uh, find the size of the uh, directory so, uh, So what I uh, did in the next level is I'm just uh, finding the size of the directory. So uh, whatever the my master info I'm passing into the directory size. So that uh, size I will get it here. Then I need to write. Uh, uh, so what I need is I need uh, the size of the directory in the byte format and uh, uh, KB uh, means kilobyte format and as well as the MB uh, megabyte format. So how to achieve that? Yes, I already built that query. I just going to uh, paste there. You will see that. So. 
okay I just copy pasted some uh, three lines that I built it already so let's minimize bit so what I uh, written is I just writing my uh, uh, I just write it in the console that uh, first uh, so it will return me default to the uh, byte format so that I am displaying directly and next level what I do I want to uh, convert this to the kilobyte so kilobyte normally you know uh, no right if you you have to convert to the double and uh, divided by uh, 124 so 124 uh, it will convert to the byte and again you need to uh, multiply into the two uh, then uh, it will be converted into the MB so this is such a calculation that you will be aware of how to convert to byte and kilobytes and MB the same such every things from the byte you need to divide by 1024 that will be converted to the kilobyte and again you need to multiply into the 1024 so that result will be the MB so let me go and execute I hope so uh, it will work nicely so let me execute okay fine so uh, I got the size of uh, this uh, directory in a bytes and the kilobytes and the MB so we are seeing such a thing so if I right click this folder uh, if I see yes it's around okay just one sec I just uh, open in the here so we'll see here uh, so uh, size of MB is around 234 and in the bytes you can able to see that uh, 246 075 and 056 so exactly it is uh, matching so this is what the actual size so size in the disk it will be a little bit compressed so hopes you understand uh, hopes uh, you got it uh, we got it actually uh, so how to calculate the directory size please try from your end so what I uh, exactly uh, educated you so if you try uh, try the same it will works perfectly so only a uh, thing is that uh, 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 we uh, you need to take care of uh, how this uh, logical uh, logically how it this going to work so this if you understand uh, uh, it is not a uh, much complicated so here I just converted a default anyways it will return the byte so that uh, I am converting to the KB MB and even GB also you can convert by adding one more mm. uh, adding uh, uh, multiplying with 2024 so thanks for watching the video guys please try from your end if you have any doubts queries please uh, comment us please subscribe our channel to get more updates